Hello students, let us today master the concept of trigonometry formulas. It is always said that if you know the trigonometry formulas, all your sums can hence be solved. So let us understand this concept properly today. I am going to look at expansions for sine, cos and tan. Let's look at a little logical way over here. When I say sine, we look at balance, say you. So when I look at the sine term, sine always comes balanced with cos. So if I look at the expansion for sine A plus B, I am going to say it as sine cos, cos sine, where sine A and B will be sine A cos B, cos A sine B. When you give it a plus, sine will maintain the balance. So there will be a plus and when I give it a minus, sine will give a minus. So sine is sine cos, cos sine, sine A cos B, cos A sine B. When I give it a plus, there is a plus. When I give it a minus, there is a minus. Cos, cos comes together with only its own family. It's a little uh, problematic we can say. What happens over here? Cos over here comes only with cos. So cos cos sine sine. So cos A cos B sine A sine B. Now when you give it a plus, cos will give you a minus reverse. And when I give it a minus, cos will give me a plus. When I come to my expansion for tan, tan is actually sine upon cos. And after dividing, we get it as tan tan 1 tan tan where I have tan A tan B 1 tan A tan B. When I say tan A plus B, it is actually sine A plus B upon cos A plus B. So the sine has a positive value for plus and cos has a negative value for plus expansion. Similarly, if I say for tan A minus B, it is sine A minus B upon cos A minus B and hence your sine convention is different. Once you master these three formulas, I assure you your entire trigger formula list is sorted. Happy learning.